Hello, good morning, good morning to everybody. Thanks for coming. <coughs> so, my name is Arturo Scagliola. I'm working uh, in Florence uh, with a company named La Marzocco. My activity, my <laughs> job description is after sales specialist. What is the after sales specialist in La Marzocco? So, we are producing coffee machines. So, uh, my job is taking care about the coffee machines since uh, is leaving uh, the company. So, I make sure technician, barista community, and uh, uh, customer distribution technician team uh, understand the coffee machine to be installed properly, to be used properly, and to be maintained properly. Uh, the fundamental uh, of uh, our job, uh, and specifically my job, uh, is about relation. It's about uh, meeting people, uh, uh, request, uh, or find out what they need uh, to understand about the coffee machine in order to achieve quality into the espresso cup. Um, uh, we're not going to use a video? Okay, no, wait. So uh, later then, uh, we're going to see a video just to show you how the factory works, how the things going on in the factory. It's, uh, it's about a family business in the beginning, then uh, became uh, a partnership between uh, the son of the founder of this company and Ken Bakke, which is the CEO of this company, living in Seattle. The business developed slowly, slowly in the first 75, 80 years. Then uh, raised up uh, so very, very fast, uh, thanks uh, to the managing team of today and thanks also to Starbucks. He did, it's not the legend, but the history says that uh, in the 1978, uh, the CEO of today, Kent Bakke, um, start uh, importing coffee machine in, the, in, the, in America. And uh, at that time, there was the first wave of coffee, the first wave of culture. And uh, Italian used to bring uh, their own coffee machine uh, to America. And uh, there was no such culture, such uh, um, a knowledge about uh, acidity that you can find in a coffee, bitterness, bland, uh, alternative method to brew coffee. So then uh, the second way started, and started when uh, uh, Schulz uh, went to Italy and find uh, a cafeteria. That's the place we call uh, a coffee shop in Italy, cafeteria, normally. And uh, he found uh, a, a way to make a business uh, in, in America and start uh, with the first coffee shop uh, in Seattle. There was no La Marzocco coffee machine, that coffee shop uh, in the beginning. But uh, soon uh, the second day, because the first day stopped to work, uh, the original machine, uh, and Ken Bucket, the CEO of this company today, offer La Marzocco coffee machine to Schulz. So then uh, the, the, the noise, the, 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 the popularity of, uh, of La Marzocco raised up uh, because uh, Starbucks uh, and the possi possibility to spread the quality of the coffee machine through all of the world. In the beginning, in, in, in America, then to the rest of the world. People enter into Starbucks coffee shop, or people who had work in a Starbucks coffee shop, understood that the coffee machine was thermally stable, uh, provide consistency to the coffee. So that's how the, the, the business grow and uh, how, how the now we are here today to talk. But mainly is about relation also, because uh, 
you can have a good product, but the, 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 the market uh, is always uh, requiring something new, something different, uh, something more accurate. Uh, so also the barista community, no barista community, no possibility to interact, uh, have a relation with people, understand uh, the customer and the barista expectation, what they need uh, to perform, uh, to achieve uh, the ultimate cup, the best quality espresso cup. So the business uh, are in the company, in our company, in our family is also relation, understand uh, what the barista need and find out the best solution in terms of technology. And uh, so I also, during my travel, uh, because uh, as I have to say specialist, uh, I taking care about all Asiatic countries. So I mostly travel two, three times a year in, uh, in Asia for long term. And uh, I meet, uh, I meet uh, technician team, coffee community locally, and we are talking and we talk about the coffee to the technician team. I train them uh, about new technology, the best way to service the coffee machine, understand uh, and to be said. The coffee community just to understand that the, 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 the technology because uh, today we need a stability, consistency. We need that constantly we uh, have the same parameter during the structure. Temperature, pressure and time. We have um, also an additional uh, and an, an, an extra technology, we can say uh, the, the outsider of uh, the traditional coffee market, which is the Strade P, is the one that uh, developed proof, uh, pressure profiles during the extraction. So the barista is able uh, to vary the pressure pressing, uh, going through the, uh, the, uh, the pressure of the water, running through the coffee according to the position of the lever. So the barista can use the same coffee or single origin or either blend and vary the pressure profile. There is then the final result in the, in the cup can be different. So how we find it, we, the, the, this technology, we just uh, start talking with people, with roasters, and uh, we discovered that by roasting the coffee differently, you can have a different result in a bean. So you can do the same, uh, you can do the same during the extraction. You can uh, find uh, a, a coffee that feeds different, different profiles in terms of pressure and deliver to the customer different coffee by improving the acidity, uh, improving the, 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 the body, uh, uh, improving the taste. Some coffee they comes with some defects, so either uh, with, the, with the pressure profiling, you can uh, avoid uh, the defects into the espresso cup because it is about uh, water flow percentage during the extraction. So if you go are going slow in the beginning, you can have a pre-infusion. Then in the middle of the extraction, you can uh, use nine, 10, 11, 12 bars. Then you can finish slowly, slowly, gently the extraction in order or not taking uh, any uh, woody part, any tannin, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in an espresso cup because some coffee they are not so rich enough uh, to end the extraction at high pressure. Then uh, also the temperature vary the re final result in the espresso cup. The temperature uh, by lower lowering the, 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 the temperature you can have a more acidic coffee by increasing the, the temperature, you can uh, develop more bitterness. So we can, we can discuss about everything today. And uh, we, I'm really thank you to be here because uh, it's a way just uh, to promote culture. Relation is also sharing knowledge. It's about uh, improving our expectation and maybe uh, once we are home, uh, we can try to extract coffee differently, to roast coffee differently. There's no, there's no 
the best coffee in the world because the coffee feeds uh, for to somebody else expectations. So somebody who wants acidity, somebody else bitterness. In Italy, we still uh, want bitterness. We still want crema. We need uh, we need to feel the tactile, the softness, the 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 the, the, the creamy in the mouth. So we use uh, we we are using uh, robusta in a very slow percentage. Today we discovered that the robusta comes uh, in good quality, and uh, you can also have uh, eighty percent robusta in your blend, uh, and having also taste because uh, you can add some arabica, very rich in terms of that. So. I hope I, I didn't get you <laughs> lost. And uh, so thank you, thank you for being here. So let's start the video to show you how the factory works, uh, how, who is the people working at the factory, and uh, how is the passion uh, through each other of us. And we want, obviously, we want to, an uh, epidemic case, we want to spread our passion and love, love for the coffee to everybody of you. Thank you.